Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The United States maintains a leading edge in various fields of science and technology, and has always been the target of other countries to follow. The United States has won huge wealth in the commercial market by virtue of its technological advantages and continues to attract talents, realizing a virtuous circle of scientific and technological innovation and research and development. However, the situation is changing. Some Japanese media said that Chinese technology may stop following the United States, which means that China is strengthening its independent innovation capabilities. For example, China has made remarkable breakthroughs in nuclear fusion, 5G, quantum technology, and other fields. What is the specific performance? The United States is paying more and more attention to Chinese technology, because the speed of Chinese technology development has not been what it used to be. If it was 10 years ago, most of China's technological products were related to the United States, such as American operating systems in the field of system software, EDA industrial software, and databases. There are also a large number of American chip processors in the hardware field. Although American technology still dominates today, China has also developed corresponding substitutes. If the United States resolutely cuts off the supply, it will only accelerate the replacement of American technology. Not only that, some Japanese media said that Chinese technology may stop following the United States. This shows that what China has to do is not only to replace American technology, but to increase exploration in the field of technological innovation. For example, China has made breakthroughs in nuclear fusion, 5G, quantum technology, and other fields. These technological fields are also the directions involved in China's exploration of its own scientific and technological development route. First, let China look at China's nuclear fusion technology. According to the news from the Chinese media, China has achieved major results with the all-superconducting Takamak East device, realizing high-power stable 403-second steady-state long-pulse high-constraint mode plasma operation. What kind of breakthrough is this? First of all, we must understand what is the East device, which is called the artificial sun and its purpose is to conduct controllable nuclear fusion physics research and explore the direction of future nuclear energy development. Nuclear energy is one of the important clean energy sources for human development. If controllable nuclear fusion can be realized, a steady stream of energy can be mastered. Not only get rid of the shackles of non-renewable energy sources such as oil and natural gas, but also have great significance for environmental protection. China uses the East device to achieve 403 seconds of plasma operation, which is one step closer to China's mastery of controllable nuclear fusion. Next, look at China's 5G network. Chinese companies such as Huawei and ZTE are global leaders in 5G network technology. For example, Huawei has invested a large amount of money in the research and development and promotion of 5G technology around the world, while American companies are far behind. We must know that Huawei has the most 5G patented technology in the world and it took more than 10 years of hard research and development to get to this point. It is obviously not that easy for the United States 
to prevent Huawei from globalizing 5G. With the help of Huawei, China has built the world's largest number of 5G base stations, while the United States has only a few hundred thousand. The gap is very obvious. Although the United States has dominated the 4G network, it has fallen behind in 5G, and the future 6G may also miss the opportunity to be the first mobile phone. Also look at China's quantum technology. Quantum technology is very unfamiliar to ordinary people. The so-called quantum technology covers a very wide range, including quantum chips, quantum computing, quantum communication, and so on. In these fields of quantum technology, China has made corresponding progress. For example, Yuan Yuan Quantum has built the first quantum chip production line in China and has also developed a quantum computer Wukong. In terms of quantum communication, China took the lead in realizing the world's first satellite ground quantum security communication. This technology can ensure that information transmission is completely confidential and is not affected by eavesdropping and cracking. Perhaps there is no practical application of quantum technology in life, but its prospects cannot be underestimated. For different technical fields, quantum communication will bring about revolutionary changes in the fields of information transmission and security assurance and provide more efficient and reliable communication methods for the fields of finance, military and energy. Quantum computers can have greater computing power than traditional computers and will be widely used in material science, drug design, quantum physics and other fields. China's science and technology continue to develop and break through and the level of innovation is getting higher and higher. As the Japanese media said, China may stop following the United States. Because of these breakthroughs, China is setting off a wave of technological rise. A large number of Chinese internet giants represented by BAT are also actively exploring new directions of future technology, such as artificial intelligence, blockchain, etc., promoting technological innovation by leaps and bounds. Although the United States has a far-reaching leading position in the field of science and technology, there are still some problems and bottlenecks, such as lack of supervision in the field of AI and employment pressure brought about by artificial intelligence. In these areas, China is catching up and surpassing the United States. If the United States continues to focus on how to suppress Chinese technology, it will only get itself into a quagmire. If you try to catch up in the future, you will find that it is too late. Therefore, it can be foreseen that in the future technological competition, China will gradually become one of the important forces in global science and technology. If you agree with this video, please like it, welcome to forward, comment and share.